Hey, just days after that unthinkable massacre at an elementary school in Texas, a student from Bellport High School has been arrested for allegedly making threats towards his school online. We've just learned that Bellport wasn't the only target of a threat. News 12's crime reporter Krista McNally joining us now with those details. Krista. Good evening, Doug. We have brand new information this hour. We are now learning that eight schools in Suffolk County have gotten threats since the Buffalo shooting. Now, of those threats, the threat made towards the high school you could see behind me, Bellport High School, was the only one that rose to the level of criminality, according to police. And now the teen responsible for Wednesday's threat has been arrested. This is not a joke. This will be taken serious and you will be prosecuted. Suffolk's district attorney stood now, with the police commissioner to show how seriously threats to the schools are taken. They say the shooting threat was posted to Instagram on Wednesday evening. The principal called it into the police along with several other parents. The FBI got involved and by Thursday, a 16 year old student was arrested. The reason why we were able to make an arrest in a very timely manner was because people saw something and they said something. That's going to be very important going into the future in order for us to make this safe. This incident appears to have been a terrible prank gone wrong, and the accused had no capacity or intention to act on the threat. While police say they do not believe the student had intent to act on the threat, he is facing several charges, including making a terroristic threat and aggravated harassment. People were scared. People didn't want to go to school. So I think that's absolutely terrorism. The school sent a letter to parents in the district and offered support services, but some were still too afraid to attend school. Every time one of these like threats comes up, the, uh, the hallways are so much more empty. A lot of people and parents keep their kids home. Um, just I feel like for like precaution on Thursday, police were at the high school and middle school and all students had to have their bags checked before entering any buildings. Our security guards had a meeting about it that day and it was, you know, it was fine. They put us all on lockdown and stuff like that. The teen was put on supervised release probation with a GPS and a 9 p.m. curfew, as well as that the judge also ordered that the teen is only allowed home and office visits, no social media whatsoever, and they will have to submit drug testing. For now, we're in Bellport. Krista McNally, News 12 Long Island.